just got this in. So this is the Trainer 90, and it is a 1S brushless FPV quadcopter kit. That means it's not ready to fly out of the box. You have to build it. And it does come with everything you need to build. You got your camera, the frame, flight control board, ESC, all of it. Everything is here, ready to build. Here it all is laid out for you. We got this little carbon fiber frame here. So that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to build this and see how it goes. So the first piece to start with is the flight control board and ESC all in one. And it comes with a little uh, red JST connector and this is the board unit. It's got the USB on there. It's pretty much everything you need. It's a Fusion F3 board actually. Now that is where we're gonna solder the power, which is what we're first gonna do. We're not gonna use this cable here. This cable is not that good. I wanna be able to use my 260 milliamp per hour high voltage batteries. So I'm gonna actually use the Beta FPV JSTPH 2.0 connector. So I'm gonna flow these pads and get that connector on there so I can use those batteries. I'm using my TS100 iron, very highly recommended, would definitely get this iron to do this because you're gonna be doing a lot of micro soldering. And that's it. Pretty straightforward to solder the uh, connector. Now this is the Free, uh, free Sky receiver. It's not an official Free Sky receiver. It's some sort of uh, knockoff. Now this is where we're gonna solder it to on the bottom of the Fusion X3. There's the receiver, the ground, and the five volt. And we're just gonna flow those pads nice and easy with the iron there. And that's it. Yellow to the RX, red to the five volt, black to the ground, really, really straightforward. You're just gonna cut the end off and get rid of that servo connector and uh, solder it straight to the board just like that. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the camera. This is the uh, all-in-one FPV camera here. And uh, this is where we're gonna start of the camera. We've got video in, video out, uh, and the power. And there's the diagram that it comes with. So you're gonna be able to reference that when you do this. Flow, again, just same kind of thing, flow the pads. And then once the pads are all nice and flowed, get the wires for the camera tinned. And once you're done with that, it's pretty straightforward. And that's exactly how it should be laid out once you are done. Do the pull test, see if we got it on there, and that's it. Your camera should be all set up and ready to go. And that's it, that's a clean job right there, at least to me. All right, so now we're done with that. Let's take a look at the buzzer. We're down to the wire here. Now this is the buzzer, that little plus on the top indicates which lead is the positive and negative. So uh, what I did was, even though it came with wires, I just snipped the end of the buzzer off like that so I could solder it right onto the board where the little, and actually there's a, there's a it's right near the uh, other stuff. They got an indicator for it. So that's it, it's just side right to the board and we're ready to move on to the frame. Now I'm putting together the frame, I, I just put the stands offs on, really that's pretty straightforward. You need standoffs to the board, you put the four standoffs in and then you can put the board on just like that with the lead facing out the back there. Now this piece is the 3D printed camera mount. Now this piece, I hate this piece. First of all, it wouldn't fit through the screw holes on the board. I had to grind it out using my uh, screwdriver tool there just to get it to fit. So this is a poorly made 3D mount. Yeah, really, really poor. All right, so now once I got actually got it on there and screwed on the top bit, the four little nuts, I needed to use my screwdriver tool to get, it, that, get that done. Now I tried to put the camera on there and it just wouldn't fit, just literally wouldn't fit. So this is a 3D printed piece of crap. Yeah, you're gonna need to do something with this. I ended up snipping off this, just the side just to get this thing to fit, because otherwise, nope, I'm just getting mad and I had to do something. Eventually I got it to fit, but uh, what a huge hassle. Definitely could use something better. All right, so here are the motors. These are the little tiny motors here, and I'm gonna spare you the 
time of me uh, just screwing in all the motors. So just go around, screw them all in. Look at those small little uh, 15,000 kV motors. Really, really fast. So basically you wanna make sure that you solder the motor wires in order. That way you don't have to deal with any reversing. So just try to solder them in straight. To solder these motors, this is, gonna be the, this is like the most tedious and annoying part. Just flow the pads and solder the leads on and you should be able to get this done. It might take a few tries because you know it's really, really difficult to solder these little wires, these little pads, but keep trying. Uh, again, this is where a good iron like the TS100 comes in handy. But once you get it done, uh, you should be good to go with that. Now at this point in the build, I just plugged in a battery. I wanted to see that the camera was working. I wanted to see that everything was working. And I hooked it up to the computer and I got the motors to spin in beta flight. Everything was peachy and working great. And then I went to put on the props and I screwed the whole build up. So I put on all the props correctly, except the one I was trying to push down on the black prop and I don't know what happened. The uh, shaft there, the little pin just pushed itself right through the bottom. So I broke the motor. Yeah, I'm really disappointed about that. It can be extremely difficult to put those props on. And when I pushed on it, I guess I just pushed too hard and it pushed it right through the thing. Yeah, so unfortunately that's where this build ends i'm really disappointed that i couldn't give you guys more so try not to make the same mistake that i did and when you're putting on the props um otherwise it's a really it's a really neat little build uh, i feel like there's certain things like that 3d printed mount they're just a piece of crap but otherwise if you're just looking to build a 1s model and have some fun building something this is not a bad unit I'm definitely going to have to get some new motors. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the Happy Model motors or something else. But that's going to be for a completely other video. So this is just how to put this together. And uh, I wish I could have showed you some more about like the flight characteristics and everything else. But that's just going to have to wait for another time. Uh, as always, uh, let me know if you have any questions. And have a great day, guys.